H5N1 bird flu has infected at least 70 people in the US since last March. While most infections have been mild and the virus hasn't transmitted between humans, it is still spreading through cow herds and poultry farms. Scientists say the more the virus circulates between birds, cattle and humans, the more chances it has to mutate and potentially trigger a pandemic. I wanted to figure out how we're preparing for this possibility, so I visited a research lab in San Antonio, Texas, where virologists are developing a potential vaccine against this current strain of H5N1. And the way they do it is pretty cool. It all starts in a super secure lab where the scientists basically create a custom-made bird flu virus. It's similar to the H5N1 strain that's currently circulating, but it's not dangerous to humans. They then inject this virus into fertilized chicken eggs. Yes chicken eggs. That's because flu viruses grow very well inside the egg's allantoic cavity, which is full of liquid that contains proteins and waste from the embryo. Vaccine makers can make about one shot per egg. And whether it's bird flu or seasonal flu, most flu jabs are actually made using this method. Millions of eggs are produced every year in biosecure farms across the country just for this purpose. Relying on eggs to make vaccines against a disease that kills chickens may sound pretty risky. But experts say that the flocks that produce these eggs are so well protected that their risk of getting infected by bird flu is very low. If you want to learn more about how H5N1 bird flu could trigger the next pandemic and what scientists are doing about it, tune into the third episode of our bird flu podcast series.